where we were talking about um, energy. One of my favorite movies that helped me understand energy is What the Bleep Do We Know? Have What's you that watched that? that? I watched that like years ago, like 10 what years ago. What the bleep do we know? And it's just the power of our thoughts and words and this energy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to check this one out. Oh, this sounds have, interesting. Right? 2004. It's old. I mean, it's got a 5.4 out of 10, but that doesn't really matter, I think. It's for people who like energy. Amanda, divorce photographer, has a fantastic <laughs> experience when life begins to unravel around her. Revealing the cellular, molecular, and quantum worlds. Yeah, you that have lie to like quantum everything. mechanics to like this. Man, quantum was hard, man. It didn't make any sense to me, but I understand oh, no, it. It's I my favorite. It. Quantum healing is my favorite. Quantum healing. Mm -hmm. You got to tell me about this. Well, it's the belief that everything is connected, right? So as you and I, I truly believe this. As you heal yourself, it is collective, he, collectively healing the whole or the collective. Um, is it? Yep, there's all kinds of ways to do it. Damn. Um, but for me, it's that you can instantly heal yourself. So let's take one of the biggest things people um, want to work through is like a poverty mindset, right? Being poor, I don't have enough. I Okay. And so... But what if they really don't? Well, they're living in that reality and they create a new one. And so the way to instantly Bam. tap into that is to tap into the energy of wealth or abundance and so how does one do this that's exactly what i was about to say so for example if someone says to me or i used to struggle with this if i was saying to myself like um if i had this then i would be whatever fill in the blank happy, right whatever, happy secure will usually be. with finances it has to do with like security or like not having stress so for example if i had 20 million dollars i would feel safe Yes. So then it's like, oh, you start to ask yourself, like, how would I feel? Then it's like, oh, then start feeling that. Like, what are the ways that make me feel safe? And we'll then you right almost now. like instantly feel your energy shift. I definitely feel more certain if I have $20 million in my bank account. Yeah. Or you feel like for women, we carry our stress on our shoulders a lot of the times. And so, and men tend to carry it in their hamstrings a little bit more. Ooh, that's deep. <laughs> that's deep. Um, and so... Your hammies are tight, gentlemen. You carrying stress. Carrying stress. Get, get a roller. <laughs> get a roller. <laughs> or the strap to put around your uh, ankle and then oh, yes, stretch pull it. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love that like bodybuilding people know like the things yeah, you that you do. You got to stretch them out, man. <laughs> um, get a tennis ball for your back and shoulders, ladies. Go. Against the wall. Yeah. Um, but you can almost instantly start to feel things kind of release like you maybe you feel that like something strapped onto your mm -hmm. back or anchored or hooked and you could almost like oh right I can let go of that feeling I didn't realize how enslaved I was to that mindset and so the more you tap into the feeling the more you're going you're actually shifting your energy you're healing itself and now it's elevating to a new frequency and you're going to start living in that frequency and so of course you're going to still there's going to be that struggle right especially with something that you're basically reprogramming your subconscious is what's happening gotcha. so you're as you're bringing things is this anywhere in line with neuroplasticity i cannot speak on that but i'm sure it's similar that was like a recent thing that they figured out where basically the structures of your brain, brain. can actually yes. be the plas yeah, John plasticity Aceraf, meaning it can actually Aceraf, change Aceraf, i knew about a doctor is named Dr. Caroline Leaf. She has a program. She calls it like a 21-day detox. I actually did it. It was really cool um, when I was kind of really going through a dark place. And you, you essentially have like a way of writing down a toxic thought and then replacing the toxic yep. thought with a, a non-toxic thought. And then you check off every day that you do this at least like five times a day. I did that without taking that course yeah. to heal my relationships with men. Really? So, and I have people do this... Um, Actually, the first week of my course, Love Excellence, is... Love Excellence. Because mm -hmm, you have to it's learn to name. like love to excel. Right. Because most of us are scared of it. Mm, that's true because, I mean, the, I think the fear is like, oh, if I got too successful, I don't know, can I handle that life? Can I, do I want to do that? Do I really want to have all that attention? 